Hey everybody, my name is Kevin. I'm with Bohemian Interactive Simulations and today we're going to talk about the VBS4 editor. As you can see right now, I'm in the main screen. The first thing to do to get into the editor is we have to create a battle space. So anywhere in the world, just right click and press the Create Battle Space button. From here, I can determine my the name of my battle space, any relevant parameters for visualization or uh, unique tags. In this case, I'm going to keep it simple. And there's my battle space. I can enter the editor by either right clicking on this menu uh, or by left clicking on the left menu. In this case, I'm going to do that. All right, so now this is the VBS4 editor. Uh, I'm currently in 2D mode. To move the map camera around, I scroll up on the mouse wheel or scroll down to zoom in. I hold down the right mouse to position the camera and move the mouse. Um, and what I want to talk about now is the user interface. So on the left, this is the add object menu. This is, determined, this is where I determine what objects I want to place in my scenario, such as objects, triggers, vehicles, so on and so forth. On the bottom, we have the status bar. This determines what uh, relevant parameters about the scenario, so what time it is in system time, what time it is in simulation, where my mouse cursor is in simulation time, and real world location, as well as additional parameters like uh, what type of object do I have selected. On the right, this is a scenario objects list. Once the scenario is populated with objects, this will show objects that are in the scenario. And on the top, we have different uh, toolbar menus. In this case, it shows, you know, I can toggle uh, map textures on or off. Uh, most importantly, this is the scenario settings menu. This determines, uh, allows me to determine what type, uh, what time of day it is, what the sea state is, what the precipitation is looking like, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, for right now, though, we're going to keep it simple. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to um, go into 3D. I can do that by pressing the M key. And as the terrain loads in, I can position the camera in a 3D game world. So I move the camera around by holding the mouse button and moving the mouse, holding the right mouse button and moving the mouse. Uh, I can move the camera around forward, back, left, and right by pressing W, A, S, and D. To raise the camera, press Q. To lower the camera, press Z. Uh, what I want to talk about now is the menu on the left. So let's do something simple like place a unit. I've selected a unit, and now I just double-click anywhere in the world where I want to create him. This is the object properties menu. This is essentially that uh, the, determines the parameters about what type of entity I've got selected. So let's just keep it simple. Let's search for rifle. In this case, I've determined my entity. Uh, and I can press the OK button, but what's important is this is a search menu. So I can search for anything in here. Anything with a unique name will show up in here. So if I search for um, machine, it'll search for a mach anyone with the word machine in their name. Uh, this is for scripting, uh, the name tab. URN is if I want to do any distributed mission operations. Uh, this will allow it to be visualized at that name. Description is for uh, reference. Uh, there's a bunch of other parameters, uh, such as stance, health, training levels, uh, and a lot more. This is all covered very well in our documentation, but for right now we're going to keep it simple. I forgot to select any type. My apologies. So now that I've created my entity, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a more complex scenario, and we'll talk more about what this looks like in a second. All right, and I'm back. As you can see, I've got a platoon of blue four over here, a couple of structures, and a platoon of blue f uh, op four over there. Uh, now that the scenario objects list is populated, let's talk about this. This basically shows all the entities in the scenario. If I double click on them, it brings the camera to that location. I can also filter on the top, so I can search for all riflemen. In this case, it'll show all the entities with rifle in the title, as well as filter by side or object type. What I want to talk about now is the layer system. So as I switch to uh, 2D, you'll see that some objects are uh, translucent now. Uh, that's because uh, there are different layers for different objects. So in this case, I've selected the OP4 layer that allows me to manipulate all only the objects on that layer. So I can't manipulate the blue 4 or the structures, but I switch to the structures layer, I can manipulate the structures on that layer, uh, but not the blue 4 or the OP4. But then when I switch to the blue 4 layer, I can op manipulate the blue 4 objects, but not the structures or the OP4. That concludes a very brief overview of the VBS4 editor and its capabilities. Uh, our documentation covers a lot more of what's going on in this uh, system. Hopefully you learned something today, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.